man, we're, we're okay to have a little bit of fun and not take it super serious at times. Like, just getting absolutely sideways, dude. Like, look at this, man. And then look, it brings it right back on the track. What? I know that's a double. Now, if you were to take this outside, you would be able to jump right there, jump over. Oh man, this is beautiful. Oh, throw that, John. What up, and it's John, it's your boy IBS Kelso. Now, as I take you down here into Steckenbird, made by JVLD and Hell Machine, uh, two great creators that literally have been going through and showing just such collateral, such, you know, equity, and showing that they really matter in this community and, like, really put work into their tracks. So we're going to get down there. This is a circuit known as, uh, how they like to say it, Circuit de Hook, I, I should say. It's a legendary sand motocross track that nestled in uh, the Grosbeck, the Netherlands, and has been uh, the breeding ground for champions since 1971 under the banner of NBC de Zeven have Lynn. <laughs> if I'm butchering that, I'm so sorry. Also, just got to give a real huge shout out to Fusion Racing Slush for creating this amazing Kelso Cup uh, series bike. Um, I won't really touch up more on it, but stay tuned. Thank you so much. And I also got to say, Infamous, thank you so much for this Troy Lee Designs Ghostbusters gear. I am on the KTM 450, and I just really wanted to show off the Kelso Cup series bike. This bike will be available to you guys soon, but man does this i'm basically playing an unreal engine 5 like that's how beautiful this track is um it's so amazing graphics so attention to detail man like just i i'm in love with sand tracks as it is so i know this is was worth every part of my two dollars of me putting in contributing to hell machine and jvld um i think it was just worth the money um and i think the reason why i say this i really haven't been on the pay track grind of like buying every track I just felt like it's just kind of like deterred me a lot for seeing a lot of people that I don't really ride much. You know, I don't really see that I've I've seen much from their free tracks and then all of a sudden they're on paid and now they want me to give $2 or a dollar. I just feel like my hugest thing now with pay tracks is, you know, you got to have some type of collateral, some type of like me to be on your side knowing like, man, like your free stuff was so free stuff was so great. And I know that if you were going to come out with something paid, it was going to be worth the while, you know, and it's going to be out of the out of the, you know, out of this world. So. For Hell Machine and JVL, JVLD, um, I gotta say this is t top 10, you know, for me, I, I think personally, this is every penny spent worth, and like I said, man, it's like we're basically in Unreal Engine 5 on this track, so I can't re re wait to see when this game would be on Unreal Engine 5 and just kind of get active with it, but, you know, the attention to detail, the, the trees, the environment, it makes it look like, you know, you're in the Netherlands really getting active. Like I said, it was something that brought out a lot of champions out of 19 since 1971 so i don't know man the track's not super long and i feel like it's a good amount of a pace i feel i feel like this is perfect and i don't really do much i don't really do much track reviews i should say you know like respectfully i think it's just you know you're so many people to watch but i think i had to get a video out on this because I think realistically, Hell Machine was like the first person, one of the first paid tracks or um, free tracks I ever tried out when I first started this game. So I knew coming into it that this track was going to be a banger because I fell in love with Swedish Carnage, you know, all that John, all, all that John. So, and right now this KTM's eating up. I will say I'm trying to find the perfect lines for you guys, but there's so much that comes with this track. Um, I think they were talking about your little pit, little pit bike spot. So I'm gonna have to check that out. But man, does this track flow tremendously amazing. Like, it's so beautiful. Look at the water, look at the sky, you know? It's like, man, just a perfect day to go riding, you know? And it sucks to see that the servers are down, you know? This really gives, like, a lot of gratitude and shows how much, like, we miss playing online with other people, you know? A lot of a lot of people are like, oh, like, I could just stay in testing all day. And it's just like, man, at times you fiend, though. Like, what, you know? get hit by hazard sometime you know do your battles with your friends like i think the online of this game still carries a lot of value and a lot of people take it for granted at times but i know for sure like these past few days since the server's been down man it's been like man like all the love that i've been putting in i want to show to other people that like man where's the competition at you know <laughs> but i mean I, I hope for the best and i know it's going to come come soon and uh, Hell Machine did say there was a lot of little cool Easter eggs. I believe in here. I did see that there's like a little free bike up in that, John. That's pretty sick. 
yeah it's just like attention to detail small things that bring this game like super great bring this bring this track all into one to where it's just like and eh, you're not just writing the track to write a track and practice like it's the nostalgia man it's the it's the old days of playing you know the old mx versus atvs you know and and being able to ride with homies and and feel free i don't know this bike it feels wide open but not wide open and it just feels fun throw some whips and i think that's what's really cool with a lot of uh, hell machine um tracks and i think i'm so happy that he brought uh jvld into the mix but just like the wide range of how much like how much you can throw these bikes like upside down all that and i think that's why i fell in love with swedish carnage swedish carnage 2 just like the amount of whips you know at the end of the day it's a video game we want to have that fun we want to have that luxury of knowing like man we're, we're okay to have a little bit of fun and not take it super serious at times like just getting absolutely sideways dude and these ruts the the, the track feels amazing like everywhere like i feel like every line is viable like i don't care what nobody says usually you're so just like two or three lines where it's like eh, you know they're there they're there but you really can use almost anything you can eat up all this track and then some if we try to make it through and i think the ktm was the perfect choice to get on this track i i definitely wanted to do the the 250 i just i don't know i just like when i hear sand i've done so many times like working on my sand tracks or sand speed with a 250 I was like, let me just reiterate that to an actual uh, 450 now. And I got to say, it was worth the while. It was worth the the excitement, man. So, Hell Machine, JVLD, I, I would say it's worth all of the $10, man. I, excuse me, $2 for this track to be out. So, if you guys haven't wanted to go pick this track up, I definitely recommend it. Um, holy cow. Let's uh, just try to run some really good laps. I do want to see what's down there soon, which I'm just going to hit the water. Ah! And I gotta say, look at this water, dude. It looks so real, bro. Holy cow, this bike would be flooded by right now. But let's head down here. Like this, I don't even know what this is. This looks like a little mini pit pit bike track, right? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. But it looks like a little mini pit bike series that you might be able to get on. I would definitely hop on, but yeah, I don't know. I'll leave this, I'll leave this for like a fun time, maybe a fun little video or something, doing some pit bike races on here with the homies i don't even know if i'm going the right way probably not <laughs> but dude this is super sick like look at this man and then look it brings it right back on the track what so i think you use half the track i think you get to ride half the track come down the actual start gate right i feel like i feel like you go down the actual start gate and then that's when you cut down right here so you actually get to use half the track dude that's actually super sick i'm not gonna lie i didn't really get to ride the rest and check out everything else but that's really cool that you get to have a little offside trail and then be, get back on the actual track, make you feel like for the little dudes towards like, oh, I'm riding on the pro track, you know? Oh my God. And that's like a nice little booter, man. This KTM's eating up all this, you know, absorbing all these bumps, all the sand, still making it viable. Yeah, what is this, dude? Feels like you're just like a whole bunch of trails and stuff. Definitely on my off time, I won't spoil a lot. I really want you guys to pick up the track. I think that's another thing is like I want to I want to showcase the track off but I don't want to show you too much to where it's like oh well there's no point for me to pick it up and spoil it you know I want I want you to pick up the track and go have fun and see what's what's to come like you you explore it yourself so I want to stay more focused on the main track and then let you go over and see for yourself like oh dude that was a dub super cool to hell machine you know really pay tribute you know really pay that tribute this inside's fun I think you can go like inside maybe jump over this jump on top of that you really want to stand up a lot it's kind of like a like a sit down stand up kind of area but a lot of standing up so it's going to help you in on these uh, sand tracks get some more there we go don't oj it back wheel guess we'll try to go for a heater see what we can actually throw huh i think the finish line is actually where the finish is that's actually really sick and I like how you jump right back on the start gate. I love tracks like that. I don't know what 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 kind of like brings happiness to me, but I love when like the start gate or like what at when you jump back over where you're basically starting and you're not like taking an alternate line. I know that's a double. Now, if you were to take this outside, you would be able to jump right there, jump over. Oh man, this is beautiful. Oh, throw that, John. You could probably connect right there. That's pretty nice like triple jump absorb those braking bumps take that inside maybe the second one might be more viable but i don't know that's a full triple 
I want to take this inside again. I don't know, man. I like eating up all these bumps. It makes me, like, really work on the craft better. And you can jump right into here. Oh, man, dude. This track is flowing, dude. Can't tell me it's not. Another nice little table that I underjumped. Yeah, this is definitely it. Worth the $2, I, I will recommend. And I will say it was worth every penny for me to... For me to pick this track up like i said i, I haven't been on the uh <laughs> haven't been on the paid track grind at all like i just feel like you know there hasn't been too much collateral and like tracks that i've seen that i really wanted to pick up um it's just kind of like i feel like eh, you really haven't shown me too much of free tracks which i may be wrong there's you're, people out there that's done a lot of free stuff um i think they just go over to the paid track side too quick to where it's like man i need to see a little bit more to where it's like right, is, it, is it a banger or is it just you money grabbing you know but i know hell machine man he, when he comes out with a banger, he comes out with a banger. And like I said, help, you know, Swedish Carnage, Swedish Carnage 2, just W's, man. Just, just W's. And I know Skizzy had told me about Hell Machine and just how cool it was, like, that he was actually able to give him uh, Swedish Carnage 2 early and stuff. And I was so excited when I heard that. And I am I, I was like, dude, that's awesome for you, bro. Oh! Because I'm not the guy to do track reviews. Like I said, like, I thought this was to pay tribute because I thought this was, track was beautiful from the get-go. And like I said, I'm basically riding an Unreal Engine <laughs> at this moment. Like, this is how perfect this, this track looks right now. And I just think that Hell Machine, from the beginning, I very first started this, this game. Like, I did not go wrong at all. All right, I might have to stop taking that inside. It's very sketchy. I have to just take this, the middle. And then I do like this one for a triple. Go for the outside. And I fall. I'm supposed to stand up a little bit. But look at this. Like, look at the brush. Look how beautiful this all looks. It just, it, it feels right, you know? It feels right, so. Man, oh man. Let's get some more laps in, though. I'm just kind of cruising for a bruising at this point. I really want to, like, tackle the track to the best of my ability. As soon as these servers go up, I definitely don't ever do paid tracks in the server. I mean, I've started to do it more, but I know I really want to run this, run this track. And I kind of want to run this track to where it's like, man, I want to promote it to where it's just like, hey... I don't I don't care. This is two dollars. This is worth two dollars. This is a track to where it's like, you know, maybe maybe a two dollars like eh, that was like eh, two dollars. This was like a, a for sure. Hey, yo, I would have probably put four dollars into buying this track right now. Holy cow. I guess so worth it, man. And I'm not even trying to be biased because like, like I said, at the end of the day, I, I did. I did do a lot of a lot of Hell Machine stuff. I did. I, I practiced those tracks a lot when I first started. So definitely give this a go, dude. I don't know. Whew. Let's go. The sand texture also, I don't know what it is in this game with sand. It does not dirty your bike or it does not dirty like any of your clothes. Like, so that, I guess that's a plus if you always want to stay shine and stay looking good, you know? I know that's that. Little double, another double. Gotta be careful here. Jump in. Messing up just a bit, but that's okay. Maybe a little scrub. Get some really good drive out of that. See, if you downside that correctly, you can jump into that first one. But if you jump it correctly, you can jump into that next one. Let's take this middle one. That wasn't bad. That was just a bad... Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I feel like the middle one actually might save you some time. But might have to rally outside the last one next. And I do like this inside. I don't know. I guess we'll kick out to the outside, though, since I wanted to try that last time. And you jump still into that spot. Oh, I want to take that inside. I just done it too... I, I went too late. I committed too late. <laughs> I committed way too late. I definitely think for fast, for fast, super fun lines, if you really are looking to go for heaters, it will be all these outsides. Like, all these outsides carrying the best momentum. Like, outside, inside right here for sure. And then outside. Like, that's, that's the way if you really want to carry a lot of momentum and or, like, put down a heater. It's just going to be the outside tracks. But, you know, for testing and all that, you really want to work on all the fun little lines. I definitely recommend just taking these insides. That inside was actually really fun. Then this outside would be a huge banger. If you don't OJ it. Yeah, Steckenberg, man. Steckenberg. Why is everything with like the berg in it always so cool, you know? Why why is the berg like the iceberg? Why why is the bergs always like gotta be top tier, you know? They're always so top tier. It's such a cool name too. Like iceberg, Steckenberg. Well, you know, just a whole bunch of berg, you know? I don't know. I, everything that comes out of Berg's man are just top tier. Man, I'd love to see like a race here, you know, like a like an actual like series race, like put into it to where it's like an outdoor series race to where this was an actual track you had to qualify on. That'd be a dub, man. 
This is not a bad line. That's not a bad line. Now, I like the inside. It probably doesn't set you up to get into that too much. You see how much more work I had to go? Probably doesn't set you up that much to set for there. So you might want to rail the outside so you can jump into that nice little uh, divot. And I know jumping in there, jumping into there is pretty fun because it's just about having the speed to get over this table, though. You know, that's that's the that's the real thing. Ooh, all right, come on. But I know outside to inside because it sets you up correctly with those breaking bumps to get into here. I'm definitely got to play with this more off camera and really find out all my lines. But for a starter kit to give this track out to you guys, I'm sorry it's a day late, but man, I, I think it was it was worth the money. It was worth the dub. Hell Machine J, JVLD. It's a J. Yeah, right. Yeah, JVDL. I said JVLD this whole time. It's JVDL. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to literally edit that later. JVDL. I'm sorry. I said JVLD. LOL. That's how you know I'm like an L, man. But at the end of the day, you guys knew what I was talking about. And you guys would probably kill me in the comment sections by then saying, dude, it's JVDL, bro. <laughs> Get it right or not. Or don't come. Like, come correct or don't come at all. <laughs> Yo, freaking crucifying me. It's all right. I deserve it. I butchered that boy. JVD, bro. JVDL. Let's just call you JVD. Sicko mode, man. I don't know, man. I'm just running laps now at this point. If you guys stuck this far, man, hit that sub button, hit that like button. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's freaking amazing. I like this inside. I don't know why. I feel like it's just the same thing. I feel like that line right there is basically the same thing, just a different format of the outside. But yeah, I don't know. This is this is a dub. Let's jump in again. Chicken noodle. You know what I'm saying? Just, ah, dude, the, the jumps are just right, man. Thank you guys so much for watching, bro. That's it. That's all it's going to do for me. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Please pick up this track. It is $2, but I'm telling you, it's so worth it. Steikenberg, baby. Created by Hell Machine and the boy JVDL. You guys stay safe, man. Thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, yeah, hit, hit you guys in the next one. Pop, 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 p